Hi guys. So this math review is going to be on the properties of addition. Now addition has a couple of different properties. The first property that we're going to talk about is the associative. Now associative, um, it's like associates. It's people that you get along with, people that you um, hang out with. So those are your associates. So the associative property of addition means I can change what numbers are inside parentheses yeah I can change what numbers are inside parentheses okay now we have been working with this at least since third grade and I know that because I worked with the third graders on it all right so in its whole in its whole form, we have been working on the associative property at least that long. But where it gets a little tricky with us as um, older is you have to remember when you move parentheses, you have to keep negative numbers negative negative numbers are negative so when we do our typical just random associative property you go two plus three plus four is equal to, wow, I'm having a horrible time writing this down. Two plus three plus four is equal to something, okay? Um, is equal to <laughs> two plus three plus four. Remember, all that we're doing is we're moving where the parentheses is or more accurately, I suppose what we would be doing is um, x plus 2 plus 5 is equal to x plus 2 plus 5. All I did was move where the parentheses were. I just changed who we were associating with. Now, to get to my green with the negative numbers, if I have a two minus three plus six. That is equal to two plus a negative three plus six. Okay, I have to keep that negative with the three. Because if the negative ends up on the outside, suddenly I'm multiplying everything by a negative. I need it to stay with the three. It cannot go someplace else. Same as if I, if I start out with um, y plus four minus two, it becomes y plus four minus two. The negative sign stays with the two. The two doesn't suddenly lose its negative sign. It stays with it. All right, so that's a switching up the associative property for use with negative numbers. Now let's talk about the commutative property. So we commute. Lots of your parents commute. That means to go from one place to another, they drive there. 
in the morning and then they come back in the afternoon maybe not right now but you know when they're normally going to their jobs that's what they do they commute all the time driving from one place to another going into saint lasalle and then driving back home can be considered a commute so our commutative property means the numbers can change places now sounds really straightforward two plus five is equal to five plus two no problems right once again we have to worry about our negative numbers the negative negatives must move with the number they are in front of. Okay, so they must move, must move. They cannot stay where they are. That is wrong. You cannot have it be where they are. So for examples of commutative, five plus two is equal to two plus five. We have that. We know that. We all know that that's the way that it works. Five plus two is equal to two plus five. Or in this case, a plus five is equal to five plus a. Yeah, works out perfectly fine. Or if we are going to get a little crazy about it, we can have a six plus a plus three. So I'm going to switch it so that the letters at the front, A, and the numbers are next to each other, plus six, plus three. And I can totally do that. There is no problems whatsoever with that. I can switch them up wherever I want to. Let's add in some negatives and see what happens. Uh, negative five plus two. There's a negative in front of the five and a positive in front of the two. The two has to stay positive. The five has to stay negative. And so now it becomes two minus five. But you're asking yourself, why in heaven's name would I want to rewrite it like that? That's ridiculous. So what generally ends up happening is this. Negative three plus seven. And you go, oh, I don't like that one. You know what? I'm going to do 7 minus 3. Positive, positive. Negative, negative. Oh, whoops, negative. So those are the negatives. Positives, negatives. Keep the negative with the number you are moving every single time. And if you end up with an entire string of numbers, which they like to do to you, just to see whether you're paying attention or not, they will give you uh, five minus four minus two plus three. Okay, so let's rewrite that. Let's put the positives first. I like having the positives first. I like taking away from a number. So my five is a positive plus that three, which is also a positive. So I have my two positives. Then I'm going minus four, because that's a negative, minus two, because that's a negative. So I end up with five plus three minus four minus two. Fives are positive, threes are positive, fours are negative, twos are negative. Make sure you bring the positive or the negative sign with you and you will have no problems What? so ever. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.